It's Adam LaBelle, the wrestling slob, coming back to you to talk about more Sunny Voyage shows. This one was just earlier today, as I record this at 11 p.m. on November 2nd, 2024. Let's take a look at the first matchup. The first match saw Hajime Ohara take on Daiki Odishima. Man, look, I'm a big fan of Ohara. Let me start off there. I am. He's my favorite light heavyweight, my favorite junior heavyweight. He doesn't get used as extensively as he once did, and I'm not sure why because he's a little older. I don't know. He's still great. Uh, multi-time junior heavyweight champion, multi-time junior tag team champion. I really like Ohara. I really do. But let me tell you something. Odishima, his star shines so bright, I can't wait to see where this kid goes. And it looked like he was going to win this match numerous times. Not that O'Hara didn't look great and won it at the end for sure with his submission finisher move that always looks killer. But he had to fight for it, as does anyone that faces Odishima. And when he gets his first win, people, the fans, the crowd are going to lose their mind. They love this kid. He's incredible. He wears red for a reason because he is hot, man. And I'm not talking about his looks. I'm talking about his skills, his abilities, and his traveling through this roster, losing matches, but coming out the winner in multiple ways. Man, this guy is over, and he's worthy of being over, and we're all going to be able to say we knew him when he first started. Remember that. You heard it from me, Adam Lavelle, the wrestling snob from WrestlingDoneRight.com. This show's kicking off with an awesome match. Like I said, O'Hara gets the win, but Odashima's spirit can never be defeated. 